Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Colorado Rockies franchise. In episode one, we did lose opening day, but I still have hope for this team. I think we're not done. Everybody's thinking we're going to be a huge full-on rebuild. We'll have to rebuild a little bit, but I want to compete as well. So let's see if we can start out this season right with the win here in the opening series versus Dodgers. Here is Charlie Blackman at the plate in the bottom of the ninth inning, still in the first series here in game number two. That one does bounce off of the pitcher, Kenley Jansen, for an infield single. That's going to bring up C.J. Crone in the four spot. 2-2 two -two count. He hits one hard to the right side, and it is going to be caught by Muncie. And we will go down in game number two to start this series and we lose this one one to nothing. A very different outcome from the first game where offense very well reigned and we lose to Trevor Bauer. He does pick up the win. But we do end up winning the next two so we end up splitting the season or the series to open the season. And now we play Arizona. But first before playing Arizona, I do wanna make a couple of roster moves. Now Brendan Rodgers is supposed to be the guy that's gonna take over for Trevor Story. He is. He was, at least, the number one prospect in the organization probably the last, like, four seasons. And finally, it's that year, put up or shut up, because Trevor Story could very well be on his way out as new prospects will come in via a trade. Now, one move I want to make is moving him down and moving Matt Adams up, because I do want a veteran bat in the lineup, at least to come off the bench. So that will be the move right away. We want to get Brendan Rodgers some work in AAA before he does eventually move up to the MLB level, and we will see what he can do down there. But let's focus on our second series of the season. We will see what the Arizona Diamondbacks are working with this year, and we will put Sam Freeland on the mound. We will see what the lefty can do. He and Gomber are the two lefties in our rotation. And I think Freeland is right now at sitting at the number five spot in our rotation. He could be number four. I kind of don't really have a order as far as three through five goes. I know my top two right now. But besides John Gray and also um, our starter in Marquez, our three through five is kind of up in the air right now. So this pitching matchup will be against Caleb Smith. And last year, he only had four starts. So lefty on lefty matchup. So here we go. Kyle Freeland starts it out on the top of the first inning. The first batter comes up. That's Nick Ahmed, who hits one deep to left field. And that one is caught. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can come away with the win at home versus Arizona, who is expected to be with the Rockies at the bottom of the NL West. As here's a hit to the right side, and that one gets through the infield. And a nice single here with one out. That's going to bring up Christian Walker, the lefty. He stands tall in the box, hits one up the middle. That one's grounded to Hampson over to first base, and Story does get the throw over in time. And we do get out of the first inning, only one hit given up. So let's see what Hampson can do now. Hitting in the leadoff spot. I love that speed that he brings. Let's see if he can continue to hit well here. He gets a low pitch. This time hits it to right field, and it's going to be run down. And that one will be the first out of the inning. That brings up Trevor Story, who was excellent versus left-handed pitching. 2-2 two -two count, inside pitch, and he drives it deep. That one is out in a hurry. A one-out home run, his third home run of the season. Fun fact, he only has three hits. They're all home runs. And Story starts it out with a nice bomb over the left field wall. And that one will get us going on offense. And Trevor Story, one of the best hitters in baseball. That's going to bring up Charlie Blackman to the plate, and he is going to check swing on that one, and the ump will rule that he went around. And with two outs, that brings up C.J. Crone, high heat, and he chases that one 94 mile an hour out of the zone. As now that brings Sam Freeland back out onto the mound here in the top of the second, giving up a deep warning track ball, and that one does bounce off of the wall. Here's Charlie Blackman. Coming up, throwing, and it will be a stand-up double to start out the second inning for the Arizona Diamondbacks with one out. So one-two count here for the next battle. This is a Drupal Cabrera to the plate. He hits one over the third baseman's head, but it's just a pop-up. Fuentes is camping under that one. Easy out, two outs in this inning. 
That's going to bring up Cole Calhoun, the right fielder. 2-2 two -two count here, Freeland. Pitch over the middle, and Cole Calhoun does not miss. That one is into the bleachers. Now, a lot of you guys said, why would you put the uh, seats up there? Well, that home run reached him. Cole Calhoun does not miss, and that one was driven out in a hurry. 2-0 here for the Diamondbacks on the road. Exit velocity of 112. I mean, that was absolutely tattooed. So now a 2-1 game here in the bottom of the second inning. Here's Josh Fuentes at the plate, and he hits one. Deep to left field. That one doesn't reach the stands, but it's still gone. Both home runs came on high and in tight fastballs, and look at that story in Fuentes. Tie this game up at two apiece off of solo home runs. And how about that one? That one was perfect timing on that swing. So now we move on to the fifth inning here. Sam Freeland still on the mound here. He does walk the leadoff batter as it brings up Cole Calhoun again. And let's see if we can get him out here in his second at bat. 3-2 count, man on first base. The pitch is on over the middle and it's just gonna be a pop-up to Trevor Story this time at short. And that one will be an out. I want to make sure I get Cole Calhoun out. That's going to bring up Caleb Smith to the plate here with two outs, and it will be a swing and a miss. And we get it out of five innings. It's still a 5-5 game. Top of the sixth inning here. Freeland is still on the mound. His pitch count is getting up there, and he gives up a deep shot. This one is not coming back. That one reaches the bleachers. It's a home run. Walker hits that one. And it's not coming back. It's a 3-2 to two lead here for the Diamondbacks on the road. So Freeland remains in the game here to close out this sixth inning. And he does get a ground ball to Trevor Story. Thrown on the first, scooped up. And it will be a nice dig by C.J. Crone at first. As we move on to the later parts of this game, Julian Fernandez, the young 22-year-old pitcher, he comes to the game. He has a good fastball. And he faces Cabrera here with one out. And he gets him to chase that one out of the zone. 101 mile an hour on that fastball. That is some heat. Cole Calhoun to the plate next. One out. He gets a pitch up in the zone. And he drives it deep again. This one's got carry all the way to the wall. And it gets over Rommel Tapia's glove. And that will be the second home run of the game and the season for Cole Calhoun. 4-2 to two here for Arizona, and now they take the comfortable two-run lead here in the eighth, but we do get out of it. A nice fastball on the outside part of the plate with runners in scoring position as well. Four to two, we only have two hits here in this game. So now we move on to the bottom of the eighth inning. Here is Elias Diaz at the plate, hard hit to short. Perfect timing on that swing. He actually hit it right on the screws, but it was right at the shortstop. As we do bring in Matt Adams to pinch hit for the pitcher. We just brought him up and to replace Brendan Rodgers. Let's see what he does in his first at bat. One, two count on the outside part of the plate. And he goes with it. This one is driven to left field. Home run, Matt Adams. How about this? We bring him up. He hits a home run on his first at bat. You can't draw it up better than that. Matt Adams, he's always been a power guy throughout his career. He's in his mid-30s now, getting up there in age. He doesn't show any signs right there, and it makes it 4-3. to three. So this inning does continue here with two outs. That brings up Garrett Hampson, who does get hit by a pitch, and that's good for us because that brings up Trevor Story to the plate now. All of his hits are home runs, remember? 2-2 two -two count, and that's the same spot he hit the home run earlier. He can't touch that one. As we will move on to the ninth inning now, is he bring in Michael Givens? He's our best reliever as far as ratings-wise. Pitched two innings so far this year, three strikeouts, zero walks. So now with one out here, 2-2 two -two count. The first batter he's going to face is going to get a hit to the right side past the glove of Trevor Story. Away from the shift now, man on first base, 3-2 count, and that's going to be a slider on the outside part of the plate, and we're going to get a swinging strike. 3-2 count now with two outs. Runner is on the move and an outside fastball. And we will now give them two men on as that brings up the nine-hole hitter to the plate. Hit to the left side and runners were moving. And that one will be a hit. Coming up throwing is our left fielder, Hampson, who's playing there today. 
and he does not get the runner at home. Five to three now. The Diamondbacks take the two run lead. So still two outs in the inning. Here's a fly ball. This time Hampson's under this one. And now a two run deficit as we move on to the bottom of the ninth. Charlie Blackman at the plate now. Let's see what he can do. He's hitting over 300 to start the season. 2-2 two -two count, high heat, and he hits just a chopper to first base, and that one will be an easy out at first base as the pitcher covers. And two, with two outs, that brings up Ryan McMahon, who gets the start at second base today, and he does. Keep this game alive here with two outs, and that brings up Fuentes, who went deep earlier in the game. As we get Ryan McMahon on second, 2-1 count, inside pitch, and he turns on it, but he just does not get enough, and that one will remain in the park, and it will end this game. The Diamondbacks get the 5-3 win here on the road for them. Cole Calhoun is definitely the player of the game. He went deep twice in this one, three RBIs as well, eight hits to our four hits, and that's how they got the win, and Freeland gets credited with the loss. So we end up dropping two of three from Arizona to start the season, but that brings us right to the start of Triple A ball, where we will face the Sacramento uh, River Cats as our Isotopes will start their season. Brendan Rodgers will get the start here in Triple A. I do want to play him at third base, though, because we have a pretty good defensive shortstop. Now, Gregory Teixeira is a very good prospect. As we look at our AAA squad, he has the power. He's going to hit two in our lineup, sometimes even three. Casey Golden is decent, but I did adjust his ratings, actually, because he's not a top prospect, and I think he's rated way too high. So I did adjust his ratings after this game. He's about 66 overall in C potential. Other guys on the squad, Walter Fields Jr. is another one of our subscriber recruits. As we are just covering AAA right now, we will cover cover double A in a couple of episodes, along with the rest of the recruits you guys submitted. But one guy I want to note here is Tyson Garraway. He could be the next shortstop for the Rockies after Trevor Story. Good fielding, good defense, good speed. His bat just needs to get better. He's going to play at shortstop over our number one prospect a few years ago, Brendan Rodgers, and we'll see what happens with him. Now, Derek Rodriguez is a guy that the Rockies signed in the offseason. I think he's pretty decent. 26 years old. He's still got some time to develop, to be honest with you. He's beat potential. He has about a year of service. And he's going to be at the top of the rotation in at the AAA level, along with Ty Colbreth and some other guys like Jacob Miller, who was another one of our subscriber guys. He will be fifth in the rotation. Our bullpen looks like this, but the main guy I want to look at here is Jordan Sheffield, picked up in the Rule 5 draft. He is 60 overall, C potential. 25 years old, I don't think he really worked out for the Dodgers as they let him go. But I think that, you know, he may have something in the tank, but at 60 overall and see potential, I highly doubt it. Now let's check out Derek Rodriguez because this is a guy that could get moved up at some point to the MLB this season to see what he's got in, in the rotation. So I want to see something here. First battery faces. Nice strikeout that time. Gets the batter to chase at the pitch in the dirt. Steven Duggar at the plate now, hitting in the two spot. Round ball to short. Garrison throws that one to first. And there we go. Nice little play that time by our defense. And now with two outs, that brings up Darren Ruff hitting in the three hole. And Derek Rodriguez gets him to chase on the outside curveball. And we do get three up, three down in the first inning. Now, unfortunately for our capture card, it did mess up. I've been having issues. I'm actually going to switch capture cards, but we end up getting the win here. And one thing that I wish I could have shown you guys is that Teixeira actually went deep twice in this game. He was the player of the game in this one. We actually faced Aaron Sanchez, who was on the mound for, for Sacramento. They actually start out 8-2, and two, but we end up getting the win there. As I said Garrison earlier, Tyson Garraway. I need to get used to saying that. But now I want to focus on Gregory Teixeira because since he had that two home run game, I want to see what he's got now if we just lock onto him and see what he can do in another game. So this game, he's facing one of the top prospects on the mound in Mackenzie Gore, one of the best pitching prospects, and we'll see what he can do. He faces him in his first at bat is a line out to left field. I like Teixeira because I don't really have 
as far as outfield goes. A really good, reliable bat. We have Zach Veen, who is the number one prospect in the organization. But I want to see what Teixeira can do. I need an outfield prospect who can bat well. Here is Teixeira this time in the second at bat. He goes to opposite field and actually gets a hit there, one for two in this game. Gore is still on the mound this time, and we do get fooled on that outside curveball. That is a 75-mile-an-hour curveball. Definitely a big drop-off from his fastball. So one for three going into the fourth at bat here. And some high heat, and this one's 97. Imagine going from 97 to 75 miles an hour there. And that is a new pitcher on the mound anyway. Is now with his fifth at bat. Check swing on the outside. One for five here in this game with Teixeira. I wanted to check him out particularly because I want to look at some bats in our uh, organization, see what we got. We will cover this quite a bit here in season one and just looking over all of the prospects. Brendan Rodgers did go two for five in this game with a double and two RBIs. So let's go back to the MLB level where we face the New York Mets here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Garrett Hampson at the plate with Romel Tapia and Owings on first and second. Facing Aaron Loop now, 0-1 count, and he swings and misses. That is a pitch right over the middle. And let's see what he does, 0-2. This one's low in the zone, and he will watch that one as we eventually get to a 2-2 count here. Man on first and second, the pitch is on. This is an inside curveball, and look at Hampson. He just gets some wood on it, and it's going to drop into center field. We get our first win here, controlling our team 2-1. to one. A walk-off here for Garrett Hampson, the speedy second baseman who can also play a little outfield as well. Good to see we get the win here, beating the New York Mets off of eight hits. Trevor Story goes deep once again in this game, and we get the win there. So we actually are a little bit through the schedule now. We end up going, dropping two of three to Arizona, two of three from San Francisco, getting swept by the Dodgers and lose four straight before winning two straight, moving on to six and ten overall before starting this Houston Astros series. But you can just see we are falling behind very quickly, and I think the issue, I thought the issue was going to be our pitching, but we are not getting it done. We're hitting 229 this season to start the year. As you can just see around the league, other teams are hitting way better than we are, and we definitely need to look at some bats in our organization. That's one of the reasons why I want to look at Teixeira and just looking at our averages here. Jonathan Daza hitting 375. Charlie Blackman is off to an excellent start here, hitting 370. Elias Diaz is hitting pretty good. He's hitting 321 while he platoons at catcher along with Dom Nunez, both hitting over 300. Pretty good sign there. And then Ryan McMahon is hitting over 300 as well as Trevor Story, also with Fuentes and other guys as well as CJ Crone are all hitting around 220 so they are struggling to start this season so if we want to get better here in season one we definitely need to hit the ball better and let's see if we can continue that here in season number one and hopefully get better because we're gonna need it so that's gonna do it here in this episode like I said I want to see what this organization has so we will start to cover triple a a little bit more and then we will move on to double a in a couple of episodes as well and then we will reveal all of the subscriber recruits that you guys submitted as well so let me know what you guys think of the rockies and what we should do like should we make some changes at the mlb level should we start trading guys what do you think we're 16 games in i don't want to make any huge decisions right now but we want to see what we can get in the open market hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride